from his headline grabbing verbal jabs at North Korea. Rocket Man is on a suicide mission for himself and for his regime. To his tough talk on Iran. We cannot let a murderous regime continue these destabilizing activities. To his four-day marathon of meetings with world leaders, President Donald Trump, with his blunt, some would say simplistic style, is pushing for diplomatic breakthroughs that have evaded even the most seasoned statesmen. We're looking seriously at peace and maybe ultimately peace in the whole of the Middle East. UN Week has given Trump's foreign policy team an opportunity to find its footing. UN Ambassador Nikki Haley, National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster, and Please, Vice President you. Mike Pence are at his side at every meeting with foreign heads of state. So too with Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, who after a slow start is handling a heavy load including a sensitive meeting with Iran's foreign minister, Javad Zarif, who had called Trump's General Assembly address hate speech. There was no yelling. We didn't throw shoes at one another. Uh, it was not an angry tone at all. It was a very, very matter-of-fact exchange of how we see this agreement very, very differently. Trump wrapped up his four days of diplomacy with the Japanese and South Korean leaders by his side in a show of unity as he announced tough new sanctions on North Korea. Today I'm announcing a new executive order I just signed that significantly expands our authorities to target individuals, companies, financial institutions that finance and facilitate trade with North Korea. Observers say Trump's swashbuckling foray into diplomacy is putting his emerging foreign policy team to the test. Well, they're riding a bucking bronco. Um, it's very hard to get your feet settled when the president um, isn't always so settled. Um, you know, these tweets and sort of bursts of uh, statements um, make it very hard to have a kind of coherent policy. Um, that said, um, I think it is the case that, for the most part, things are starting to settle down. As he departs the U.N., Trump has emphatically put his own stamp on U.S. foreign policy, one that is still evolving, but coming into clearer focus. Peter Heinlein, VOA News, the United Nations.